Okay, welcome to the final Kwawu 3 assembly video. This is the final assembly video. You should already have put together your hand, your arm, whether it's a wrap arm or a socket arm, should matter at this point. All right, let's start with the cuff. For the leather cuff, you should have printed the leather pattern out on paper already. I use Chrome to print out my leather template. It prints it out at the correct scale. You should be able to hold the 3D printed plastic part up to the paper and see that the holes line up well and that's an easy way to know that you got the scale right. So once you've cut your leather template out and transferred it to the leather and cut the leather out, I recommend just getting a leather hole punch. It works great, it's pretty inexpensive. I also recommend these copper rivets. It's a fairly small diameter, they're 3.1 millimeter, so I can fit them in child size arms. They come in various lengths, so I can fit through a child or an adult. You cut them off with some large pliers, like lineman pliers, and then use again this special provided tool to hammer them down. You can break the plastic hammering them, but I found after I broke one, maybe two, I got the feel for it, and now I've, I've hammered down a bunch of these and haven't broken any since. If I haven't said before, I highly recommend the leather wrap. It's just more comfortable than the plastic wrap. Here we're gonna go ahead and assemble the, the plastic wrap with the flexible plastic. We are gonna put lots of two-part epoxy on here. Don't hold back, just really goop it on. You want this to hold tight and you want to work fast. You don't want the two-part epoxy to set up at all before you've got these two bonded. If you have to mix up two batches of two-part epoxy, um, don't let it start to set up. It'll make for a weak join. Now once I've joined all these three parts together, so I'll set a weight on this overnight so they bond together nice and tight, and I'll come back 24 hours later. I use the 3D printed bolts to hold the elbow together. The Kwawu 3 3D printed bolts tend to work really well. Um, they're fairly strong and lighter weight than a metal bolt. If you want to use nylon store-bought bolts, that's fine too. But I found these 3D printed bolts a little bit lower profile and work fine. Now we're going to go ahead and put Plasti-Dip on the hand. I use clear Plasti-Dip. I treat the hand with the primer first. Um, without the primer, I found the Plasti-Dip can wear off fairly quickly. I cover up the strings with a little bit of blue tape. I don't know what this primer is made of. I assume it's an acetone base or something like that. And it might damage the strings or weaken the strings. And I'm going to go outside where it's nice and airy and spray this. So now I'm going to spread the plastic dip itself on all over the fingertips and all over the palm. You'll see I'm putting plenty of plastic dip on here. I'm really gooping it on. I don't want it to be that smooth. Um, I really want it to provide a an uneven, therefore gripping surface. You'll see in a minute when this dries, it dries a lot flatter than it appears when you're putting it on. So I tend not to worry about how much I'm gooping and I try and get it a little bit goopy. You can use a brush to put this on smoother. It's gonna ruin the brush for each application and I actually don't want it to be that smooth anyway. So I just prefer to use a piece of plastic. These are all my cut up old cards, you know, either credit cards or this looks like my health insurance card. Just whatever I have around, around. I tend to cut those up and use those to smear my two part epoxy or my plastic dip. All right, so now I've got that all over the palm and all over the fingers. I let it dry for 24 hours and you can see it comes out pretty smooth. You can see a little bit of lumps and discontinuities in it. That's what I want. That provides a little bit of extra grip. Now that I've got plastic up on the hand, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the arm. The last thing I'm gonna do is put a liner in the cuff or the socket. You can use a gel liner, it's a bit more expensive and it works better. I don't think it's entirely necessary. You can just use neoprene, closed cell neoprene, works fine and does not hold water, it washes well. If you're using the leather cuff, you just don't need a liner. The leather by itself is fine. And inside the socket, you can put a liner as well. Um, and then once you've got the liner inserted in here, and just go ahead and put your Velcro straps on, and it's ready to go. Thank you very much for your interest in the Kwawu 3. I'm really glad you watched these videos all the way to the end. And please email or ask any questions. I love feedback, pictures of people wearing it, anything like that. It's just really inspiring, and, and that's why I do this. Thank you so much.